Hello students, now the topic is that high bright digestion and shape. What is the high bright digestion? It means of that two orbitals of the same atom which are having almost equal energy and almost equal shape they will intermix with each other and form new hybrid orbital new hybrid orbital means of that hybrid means crossing of two orbitals in simple way which are having same energy and same shape and forming the new orbital. If in the local language, if, if you would like to go, got it, that is donkey is crossed with the mule, is, with the horse and we are getting the mule. That mule is what? Hybrid. To any species of plants, suppose that crop of wheat, one wheat crop plant cross with an other wheat and we are getting hybrid and you are listening the word in the market of seed market hybrid seeds so farmer is coming in the market and getting hybrid seed mixing up of two quality forming another quality which is better than this one so this is called hybrid crossing of two orbitals like as mule is made by the cross of donkey and horse and mule is able to take the weight even in the mountains better than donkey and horse. So this is what the high bridization, almost equal shape and equal energy orbital mix with each other and they form the new hybrid orbital. Now come on the point, high bridization. Number one is that sp hybridization sp hybridization its example is bef2 you simply take the beryllium atom first its atomic number is 4 it is divided like that electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 this is k shell this is l shell and 2p orbital is vacant. Now take ground state electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, and 2p is vacant. Means of that in 1s2 electrons are there, 2s2 electrons are there, and in 2p there is no electron. This is what ground state electronic configuration. And my dear student, uh, according to VBT, which are fulfilled they will not participate in the bonding. So now left is what? 2s and 2p. And in 2s there are two electrons. One will jump and go to the 2p. This is what excited state. The heating electron is jumping from 2s to 2p. Means of that 2s and 2p almost equal shape and equal energy. And they will form the new hybrid orbital. That is called sp hybrid orbital now total are what four suborbitals and one in 2s one in 2p so this is called sp hybrid orbital and around the beryllium two sp hybrid orbitals lobe will be formed and then two fluorine atoms cross with each other and they form the sigma bond one sigma another sigma and that's why this is called sp hybrid orbital and you know very well that its shape is linear and bond angle is what 180 degree little bit has been explained overall has been discussed in the vesper theory also the next is that Yes, my dear students, now sp2 is triangular 120 degree angle. Examples are bf3, bcl3, bf3. 
Brown atomic number is 5, 1 s 2, 2 s 2 and 2 p 1. Excited state only fulfilled will not participate, rest calm, 2 s and 2 p, 2 electron and 1 electron. 1 electron will jump from the 2 s and go to the 2 p in this way and forming the sp2 hybrid orbitals and then 3 fluorine electron, 3 fluorine atom attached with this one. You can take fluorine, fluorine, hydrogen, whatsoever you like. Now come sp3 that is tetrahedral and we are taking the example methane. Methane central atom is carbon, its tommy number is 6. You will write down 1s2, 2s2 and 2p or uh, 2. Now come in the excited state, ground state will not participate. In the 2s there are 2 electrons and in 2p there are also 2 electrons. Now excited state is there, so 1 electron will jump from 2s2 and go to the 2p and forming the sp3 hybrid orbital in this way. Three lobes of p and one is this one. The total four lobes, 2s, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is how the four valency of carbon is also coming. And now we have to attach the four hydrogen atom. We can attach one hydrogen atom, another hydrogen atom, another hydrogen atom, and another hydrogen atom. In this way, we are watching carbon 4 lone, 4 on paired electron. So it is coming from the excited state. And then hydrogen R4 and forming the bond. 1 bond, 2 bond, 3 bond, 4 bond. Another way, this is sp3 hybrid orbital. Carbon has 4 sp3 lone. This is hybrid. 2 atom of same atom. These are the 4 lobes of the carbon sp3 lobes and then hydrogen atom is attaching and forming the sigma bond 2 this is what the sp3 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 sigma and 4 sigma 4 sigma means sp3 now take the example of ammonia in ammonia there is a one lone pair that is also holding as sigma bond one hydrogen, another hydrogen, another hydrogen. So this is what the lone pair. It will press the bond angle. And it is decrease than 109 and coming up to 108. Then water. Water is also sp3 my dear students. Two two lone pairs are there in the oxygen and then nitrogen one. So this is hydrogen band shape. This is also band shape. One sigma of one lone pair, another sigma of another lone pair. This is sigma, this is sigma, this is sp3 but bent v shape. Ammonia is also sp3 but it is not tetrahedral due to the presence of lone pair, it is a pyramidal. Pyramidal. And uh, one more thing. Nitrogen has not vacant the orbital, it cannot accept the electrons. So it is pyramidal and base also. The next point is to be this one sp3. Yes, my dear students, now next is sp3d PCL5. Took the P as a central atom. Write down it will electron will jump. One electron as P from 3 and one from D. SP3D it will become. Draw the structure with your cell phone. Write down electronic navigation. If you are not getting, be in touch with me. It will get trigonal bipyramidal shape in this way. And so many questions are there. This axial bone length is equatorial is 2 to axial is coming 240 degree. Why this is greater due to the lone pair lone pair repulsions? So many questions are there. Then SP3D2 octahedral. SF6 by the 6 electron we will get the octahedral shape and then SH6 will not form because of atomization energy of hydrogen is greater. SCL6 will not form because of that size of cooling is greater and so that's why PH5 will not form atomization energy is greater. Cyanide existing 
but CP is not existing because of that phosphorus atomic orbital size is greater it could not fit in the carbon then sp3d3 if7 pentagonal bipyramidal one more thing i am getting here bone order one we are getting bone order in the mot and one more bone order you can get by this way suppose that this is benzene and benzene's two resonating structures are there and covalent bond are three as you are watching the covalent bond three resonating structure two its bond order is half you can find out in this way and one i had explained with the structures of carbonate in carbonate there are three structures and four covalent bond so bond order will come in this way structures are three and covalent bond are 4 4 by 3 1.33 is the bond order and one more thing you can find out the hybridization in some way if ch4 is there 4 sigma bond sp3 if ch4 is there take outermost electron carbon is 4 hydrogen is 4 4 plus 4 8 then divided by 2 it is coming 4 then sp3 if the sum is greater than 8 then it will be divided by 8. You can take example of PCL5. Phosphorus is having 5 electron and chlorine is having 7. 7, 5, 35. 35 and 5, 40. Now 40 divided by 8, you are getting 5. And 5 will go to the sp3d. In this way, you also can find out the hybridization also state. One more formula that is half multiply with valence electron of central atom plus single bond negative if any positive charge and plus if any negative charge we can take the example of methane it will come 4 again sp3 you can take the example of ammonium ion in ammonium ion you will say that half nitrogen outermost shell electron is 5 single bond hydrogen is 4 and positive charge is 1 1 is left neglect finally you are getting what half into 8 that comes to you 4 and hybridization sp3 so this is what all about the hybridization and chemical bonding in the next chapter we will meet with the equilibrium goodbye bye bye